Hello Aries. So the last reading I did, I was getting the energy that um, you you let go of someone toxic or you let go of a toxic pattern. It could be too. You There's something that was toxic that was holding you back. And it seems like there's some kind of karmic cycle that you've just wrapped up. Um, so you're, you should be feeling a sense of freedom or you should be, you know, in the near future feeling the sense of freedom. Um, abundance is about to flood in because you, you have so much abundance. That's just your birthright. It's, it's set in stone for you. It's meant for you. And I think a lot of that abundance is, is going to be coming flooding in all at once. You know, you just had this one little thing. I think that was blocking you. This could be a person. This could be a way of thinking, a way of being. Um, so for this group of Aries, I basically just get new, exciting energy. It's going to come in kind of unexpectedly, to be honest. But but yeah, you had this one little thing that was blocking you, whether it was a person, a situation, whatever it might have been. But I feel like that's either being removed right now or you've just removed it. So, and and you, I think you've been manifesting... Um, you know, money, love, success, career, whatever you've, you've wanted, like you've put the intentions out there. I think a lot of you started wondering, like, where is my abundance? Like I've been doing the work I've been, I've, I've healed myself. I've, I've been putting all this energy out there to manifest things. Like I know I'm powerful. So why isn't it manifesting physically for me? And it was just this one little thing that was blocking you. But, but yeah, it's either been removed or it's be currently being removed now. Um, and you're going to be surprised because all that energy, all that abundance that you've been manifesting, it's, it didn't go away. I mean, there might've been a block to it, but all that energy, I almost see it like a little, like a little cloud, like a little bubble or something of all this amazing, um, you know, energy and all your, all your good intentions for yourself and for others that have just been stored somewhere. You know, they didn't just go away. They were just kind of blocked by that one little thing. But now that that's been removed, all this abundance can come flooding in. And I think a lot of it is just, it's going to come in so quickly that you're not going to expect it. A lot of you are going to be meeting new people because a lot of you have put the intention. Cause I mean, you know, it's gonna, the story is it, there's variations of the story. You know, it's the, the general energy is that there's something that you just had to let go of recently. But for, for most of you, I think that was a toxic person that you were holding on to that you wanted things to work with, but now you're, you're setting yourself free because you're starting to realize there's something better out there. Um, for some of you, this this might've been a pattern, um, a way of being, whatever it might've been. But for those of you that just released a person, I feel like you're probably gonna have new love coming in very quickly because it's like you put all this energy into, you know, visualizing and manifesting the kind of person that you wanted. And I think for a while you were set on it being one specific person, but I think now you're opening yourself up to the universe and you're like, you know what? I just want my true love. I don't, I don't need it to be this specific person anymore. I'm open to whoever it's going to be. And you know, that's, that's going to create miracles for you. You're going to be surprised. It's like, you're going to be single. And then before you know it, you're talking to two or three different people, like no joke. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's, the, the energy is really good for you guys. Um, let me see what the cards have to say. Let me see where you're at. Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement, nostalgia, longing. Make your move, green light. I feel like a past life connection is coming towards you. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I did not look at the card. I pulled it as I said that. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, you got you because you got soulmate, past life connection, soul contracts. You got mental instability. You got clubs, parties, social life. Make sure this is well adjusted for you guys. Sorry.
There we go. Let's get a couple more cards for this story. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Okay. Finances and career. Okay. So the energy I'm getting from these cards is that yeah you you are moving forward. So this is this is actually a really good reading from what I'm picking up here. So let me explain. So you are moving forward. You're moving past this nostalgia. There's something in your life that's dead. Like I said, it could be I mean, it could be a person like a person that's, you know, the, the relationship has ended and you're finally embracing that. It could be a way of being. I think a lot of you are ascending and coming into your psychic ability very quickly and it might be scary for some of you. Um you might not quite be used to all this this energy that's flooding in at once. Um but I, I feel like you are going forward, you know, make your move green light like you're you're going forward towards your destiny. You are on the chariot. You're on the right path. I feel like your dreams are going to be really powerful around this time. Maybe pay attention to your dreams right now because you might get visions of the future in your dreams. You might get communication from this soulmate in your dreams. Maybe telepathically communicating with this person that's coming in in your dreams. Um, this could be an old person coming back around, like maybe someone that you I don't feel like it's someone you dated. If it is someone from the past, I don't think it's someone that you dated. I think it's someone that, you know, he like he or she was a really good person, but it was just the wrong timing. You guys needed to go down separate paths and now they might come back around. For others, I think this is a brand new connection, but I'm not getting ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend energy here. Um, so anyway, yeah, I feel like really pay attention to your dreams right now. Telepathic communication is going to be strong for you. Some of you are already conscious of this. And I think there's a warning here that when this does come in, do not sabotage it because we have a very strong past life bond that's coming in here. So this is like, this is like love at first sight. This is soul recognition. Like you're, if you haven't met this person already, when you do meet you're it's, it's just going to be instant. Like your soul is just going to know, like you might have this heart chakra opening, you you're just going to feel at home with them. You're going to feel like you could tell them anything within, you know, a matter of a, a couple of weeks of knowing each other. Um, this, this relationship might be moving very quickly because there is, there is a very deep past life bond here. And this is a potential life partner I'm feeling, but this is, this I feel is a warning to not let your own mental, mental instabilities get in the way of this. So this doesn't necessarily mean actual like mental instability, like mental illness. This could be, this could be fears. This could be anxiety. This could be abandonment issues, childhood wounds, um, negative patterns, like being attracted to toxic people or, you know, running and, and doubting things and sabotaging things when things get too good. It's just the general energy of, of fear, um, instability, uh, you know, anxieties, um, insecurities, that kind of energy and like partying as well. There could also be, there might be saying that you might meet this person at a club or a party as well. Um, some kind of social event, but I feel like there's a warning here not to, um, sabotage this. Because like I was saying, I feel like a lot of you guys have been manifesting, like maybe some of you do spell work or some of you do um, like vision boards or just praying, just just whatever the energy is. I get that this group is, is you guys are very powerful manifestors. So however you're doing it, I just get that you have very strong intentions. You have very strong energy. You've been putting all that energy in over the, the months or probably years into, you know, having the love and having the, the abundance and the life that you deserve. But honestly, I think when it comes in, it's going to shock you and scare you a little bit because I don't think you're going to be fully ready for it or fully used to it because I think that I think you were meant to have this a long time ago, but I think that you guys got caught up in a karmic cycle with someone or with something. So whatever that thing is that we were talking about earlier in this video where I was saying, you know, recently you, you either just let something go or you're currently in the process of letting something go, be it a person, be it, you know, a cycle, a way of being, whatever it might be. That little thing is what's been been stopping you from from manifesting your abundance. So I think that this like this true love, money, all this success, you were meant to have this, you know, a long time ago, like months or years ago. Like your blessings were meant to already be here. 
Like some of you are single and you're straight up like you were meant to be married by this point. You know, like you were meant to have it all by this point, but you got caught up in some kind of karmic cycle. And sometimes like when we hang on to karmic, um, you know, relationships or whatever it is, like, you know, these, these karmic cycles can wrap up, but sometimes we don't go down that route and we end up repeating the same karmic cycle over and over and over again. So this could be a lesson that you were meant to learn in relationships. And maybe it's a very simple lesson. Like, um, my lesson, for example, is that I cannot save men. You know, that's been my my lesson. I've I've gotten myself, I hate to admit it, but I've gotten myself involved in, in third party situations where, you know, now I've stepped back and I'm like, you know what, it's not worth it because he's choosing the other woman and that's, I need to respect that and I need to back off. I need to not get myself involved in these third party situations. Like that was my lesson. Like I can't save him. He's a grown and I've gotten it. I've gotten in that situation with multiple men um, and I'm and where they've been in like abusive relationships. And I'm, I'm just telling my own story. I'm just led to tell my own story because maybe a couple of you can resonate with this. So you can kind of understand the energy that I'm talking about. And then I'll get back to the spread. But um, but yeah, I've gotten in that situation a few times where I I've fallen for these men that are in abusive relationships with um you know, toxic women or they have like a toxic family member in their life. That's like a woman. Um, or, and I'll get competitive and protective over him with her or whatnot. And, you know, later down the road, it's just, I find out it's not worth it. You know, like they're grown men, they, they can make their own decisions. If they're choosing to stay with another woman, they can go ahead and do that. Like I, I separate myself from that energy now, you know what I mean? Like as an empath, I've learned that lesson. I'm like, I cannot save them. That has to be up to them to decide if they want to stay or leave that woman. And if they want to stay, then that's all I need to know. And I'm cutting myself out of the equation. But, um, you know, for some of you, the, the karmic cycle is something like that, where it's like you were maybe, maybe meant to have like, you know, and it, it's going to be different for everybody. For others, it's, it's you know, maybe issues of codependency, abandonment issues, um, you know, letting people walk all over you, whatever it was, it was some kind of karmic cycle where maybe you were meant to have like one or two relationships and learn that lesson and move on from it to your true love. But instead, your heart kind of just took over or I shouldn't say your heart because you know, it's not your heart, it's your mind. It's your, you know, true love is in the heart. But you know, karmic relationships said that's more mental. That's, that's, you know, patterns, that's childhood wounds, that's subconscious patterns repeating, you know what I mean? Um, but, but anyway, it's like some of you, you know, were meant to have a couple relationships like that and you were meant to learn a certain lesson and move on from it to the next chapter of your life. But, you know, you fell in love with people and you, you kind of got stuck in this energy for longer, for years longer than you were supposed to, months or years longer than you were supposed to get stuck in it. So you started repeating that energy more and more. And, um, you know, maybe kept attracting relationships like that because you got so stuck, sucked into that energy, maybe with a specific person, even, um, I hope I'm making sense here. So it's, it's like that karmic cycle, that lesson, you were only supposed to have one or two relationships like that. You're supposed to learn and move on, but instead you ended up having maybe several relationships like that, or maybe you were supposed to be with this person for a year and you ended up staying five years, like dragging out the karmic cycle much longer than it was supposed to go on for, um, cause we have free will, so we can do that. You know what I mean? Like we have karmic cycles we go through and they're supposed to wrap up, but it's like, we can choose to hold on to that energy and not allow the cycle to, to wrap up. And then we have to go through this whole new karmic cycle and stay in that energy even longer. You know what I mean? So, um, so anyway, I, what I, the point I was getting to is now you finally have completed that cycle or you're, you're in the process of completing that cycle. You know, some of you might be living with a toxic person, but you're like, you know what, I'm done. And you're, you're planning on leaving. You're, you're making plans to get out of that situation. Whatever, whatever it is, it's like that karmic cycle is like over or it's currently finally ending for you. Um, and so I think, sorry, the, sorry. Sometimes when I channel, I start blabbing. I start, I start getting on a tangent. Um, and if this is your story and you, and you want me to look more in depth into this, into, you know, the new person coming in, the old person, whatever you want to know, um, the karmic cycles, whatever it is, just send me an email. My email address is below in the description box. But anyway, so, so my point that I was making is that these blessings, um, love, money, career, success, just all of it, it was meant to be yours a long time ago, like for months ago, but for most of you, I'd say probably years ago, to be honest. 
Like you were supposed to wrap up karmic cycles a long time ago and meet your your true love and and have this this life that you've been manifesting. So now that this little thing, like this karmic cycle lesson, whatever, you know, person, whatever it was, that little thing that was holding you back that's just been, been removed, you're going to have all these blessings flooding in at once. And it's going to shock you, I think. That's the energy that I'm getting because you've been manifesting it. You know, like I was saying in the earlier in the video, you, you've been putting the intention and energy to have love, to have, you know, career success, um, entrepreneurship, all of that. And that energy didn't go away. I think that you were frustrated because you're probably like, why is it not manifesting? And it's like, well, it, it couldn't because of that little block. But now that you've removed it, it's like all those blessings are still there. All that energy that you've put over the years into having this life, like it's like it's been stored somewhere and now it's going to come flooding in. I hope that makes sense. But some of you might almost be scared of all the of all the abundance that comes in at once. Some of you are going to have your third eye like blasted open and it's going to freak you out because you're not used to that. Um, some of you I feel also are going to meet probably more than one person to be honest. I feel like you're going to have exes come back. I think you're going to have a new person coming in. And there's a warning here not to sabotage it. Because I think that this true love is going to be so different and it's going to move so quickly that some of you are just going to be, you know, think about it. You've been manifesting this stuff for years and it's like it hasn't, it barely was able to get through because of that block. So it's like imagine just all your good intentions over the years just manifesting all at once in like the period of like a month or two, you know, <laughs> or like this year is the year that I feel this is happening for you. Definitely this year. But, but some of you are going to get freaked out. Some of you are, are like, you know, because it's easy. It's, it's easy. Like you've gotten used to being alone, a lot of you. You know what I mean? Like it's easy to, to meditate and dream and fantasize about meeting a person or like getting lost in like TV shows or books and, you know, like, oh, someday I'll have this person. Like that would be nice. But when it's like right there physically in front of your face, I think it's honestly going to scare a lot of you. Like you're not, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're it's like, like really? Or like you're going to get like a promotion or like start a new business. And it's like, because it's all this energy that's been stored over the years, all your intentions and manifestations just flooding in at once. Now that that little thing is, that little block is removed. And it's like, it's going to come in like a flood and you're just going to be like, what? Like, like it was that easy. Like I just, I just went to the casino and won $10,000. Like I just, I, uh, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like you're going to be kind of like almost like excited, but kind of overwhelmed and almost like confused, like almost. And I think there's just a message here. Like don't question whether you deserve this or not. You do deserve this. You have worked for this. This is all your energy over the years manifesting physically. Like it's been trying to manifest physically, but it's been blocked. So it hasn't been able to, but now it's able to. So it's coming pouring in this year for you. Just don't sabotage it. It's just that's what these cards are saying with the mental instability and like the partying card here too. Well, I think the partying card might be saying that you might be meeting your person at like a party or something like that. But I also think it's about partying like as in like drinking and that kind of stuff. Like don't get lost in that energy. Sometimes when like your third eye opens, sometimes it's just like scary and some of you might want to just hold on to the familiar because it's like what the hell is going on and it's like don't go back. You can't go back. This is the point of no return. There's no going back after this. You're you're in a transition right now. You you can't turn back from this. Um, so it's like if you get that promotion, accept it. If you get promoted to manager, accept it. If you get, you know, a business loan to start start the business you've been wanting to start, and it's like just coming out of nowhere. Don't don't sabotage. Don't say like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready. Like, no, you've been ready for this. This is this was meant to come in a long time ago, and now that the the blocks released, you can finally have it. So accept it as soon as it comes in. You know, money, love, all the things that you've been trying to manifest over the years that haven't been manifesting, they're about to manifest this year. So it, there's just a strong message here. Accept these things when you, they come in. Know that you deserve these things. Know that you've been working for months or years to manifest these things. So do not sabotage them when they're gifted to you. You know what I mean? Like you did this. You earned this. Um and saying, I think there's a strong message with love too. Like I was saying, you know, it's easy to fantasize about love. It's easy when you're, especially because you've gotten used to your, your, um, what you're putting into the universe, not manifesting you. I think that because you have this block, you kind of got used to it. Like part of you felt like, Oh, it manifested a little bit, or it's going to manifest someday. Like you still do the manifestations, but some part of you is like really kind of upset and disappointed. Like, where is it? So it's like easy when you're, 
you know, putting that energy in like, oh, someday I'll have love. Like that'll be, that'll be nice. I'm going to focus on my career and school first for a while, but you know, eventually I'll have love, like always putting in the future. Um, but like when it's, you know, when it, when it actually comes in, it's like, it's going to, I think it's going to be really unexpected. And I think it might scare some of you. So you have to, when this true love comes in, you need to take this opportunity. Some of you, this person might be very attractive and you might be kind of afraid to talk to them. Do not give this person resting bitch face. Okay. Like when this person comes in, be mindful of your body language. Cause I really feel a lot of you are going to meet them unexpectedly. Like you're going to meet them like out somewhere, like in public or wherever. And it, it's, it's okay to be caught off guard, but just be mindful of that energy because you don't want this person to like think that you're not interested. You don't want to, you don't, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to be shocked and like run and be like, oh, I have to go home. Bye. Like, you know what I mean? Like you want to make sure that you're receptive to this, this person that's coming in that the universe is trying to bring you. So just be mindful of your body language, your energy, the way you talk, your tone, all of it. Don't come off the wrong way. There's that warning there. And also just don't sabotage. Don't don't start thinking, oh, this is too good to be true or, oh, I got to focus on work or school first. I'm not ready for love. Like, oh, I got to do this first. I got to do that first. Oh, like I need to save money before I, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just excuses that your mind comes up with to sabotage love because you're going to be afraid of getting hurt. Um, so you have to step past that fear and you'll know if this is a soulmate, this is like love at first sight. This isn't like, it's not like you go to the store and you see someone that's kind of cute. No, this is like you guys lock eyes and you want to cry. You feel like you've known them your entire life kind of energy. This is like, this is like soulmate twin flame life partner energy. It's, it's not something you're not going to go home and like doubt and be like, oh, they were kind of cute. I don't know. No, this is going to be like you just long to be near them. Like you, you feel like a part of you is almost missing. Like you want to be, you want to be near them so bad and you barely know them physically, consciously in this lifetime, you barely know them, but it's just that warning, you know, like that, that's, it's going to be scary. You're not going to, you know what I mean? Like you've gotten used to being alone or you've gotten used to being with a certain type of person. And this person might not be your usual type. This person is probably going to be a lot more successful than your usual type. You might usually date people that like you have to pay for everything or like they don't have a lot of money and this person is going to have more money. This person is going to be like buying you things, taking care of you. And you're just going to be like, are you sure? <laughs> or like they're more attractive or they're more, they're just going to be different. And, and part of you is going to like kind of almost question it. Like, is this too good to be true? But it's like, you need to pull yourself out of that energy and step back and meditate and remember this is what you've been praying for. This is what you've been manifesting. This is what you've been focusing on for years, trying to manifest this life partner. So now that they're here, take that risk. Otherwise, what what were all, what was all the, the years of manifestation for? What were you doing all those years if if you're not going to take the risk? It's almost a slap in the face to you know your your deities as well if you don't take this because it's like you've been praying and asking for it for so long, and they're like, okay. Like we remove the block so it can come in now. It's, there's an opening now. Your heart is open now. It can come in. And it's like almost a slap in the face to them if you question it and sabotage it and mess it up because it's like it's like they're giving this to you now. You can have this now. The time is now. You don't need to wait for love anymore. You don't need to wait for money and abundance now. This is all yours this year. Like this is meant to be yours now. Like I said, this was meant to be yours years ago. Um so like this is this is meant to come in fast, you know? Um so so yeah, there's just this warning like when this comes in, do not question it, don't think it's too good to be true. Just remember that you earned this, that you you've been asking for this. You know, some of you like if you've been like writing in a notebook like what they look like, feel like, you're going to be surprised how that notebook matches up with um what they are what they're like physically you know what I mean like you're going to be the synchronicity is going to be unreal like the dreams the the psychic connection it's going to be unreal you're going to be amazed by this energy um it's it's a really it's a really positive reading so the yeah the, your guys just wanted to warn you like this might be happening a lot sooner than you think open your heart up um put yourself out there to meet people too because this could come in any form this could be like online like like dating apps uh, Facebook, Instagram, social media could be out in public. Just open yourself up to these different avenues. Cause like, you can't ask for something and then like, just sit at home and not put yourself out there to meet people. You know what I mean? So it's like telling you like, go live your life, be open, just have fun. And you're going to be surprised how naturally this just comes into place. Like everything's just going to click. You're going to be glad that some things that you wanted to work out in the past did not work out. Like you're going to be glad that those things were not for you. Um, 
there's going to be a huge sense of gratitude and just um, breakthrough energy this year, like becoming a whole new person, having a whole new life um, that you've been manifesting. So, so yeah, don't, don't think it's too good to be true. Don't think, don't think you don't deserve it. Just, just really embrace it. And like I said, you're going to know this isn't going to be like, oh, they're kind of cute. This is like, no, this is like love at first sight. Like you're, you're probably going to get emotional the day that you meet them, maybe even in front of them. Like you might even like know this and you might see them. Like you're probably channeling them already. If this is your story, you're probably dreaming about them or like channeling them and like feeling their energy. Like you feel like in your heart that you're about to meet someone, like you can just kind of sense their energy for a lot of you at least. Um, so you might get emotional when you meet them. Like I said, this isn't like, oh, they're kind of cute. No, this is this is love at first sight. This is like, I feel like I've known you my whole life. This is this is very strong energy. You're 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 not gonna have any doubts about it. But um, but yeah, so that's where you guys are at. That's a really good reading. Stagnation, codependency. Yeah, someone's codependent and they're stagnant and they're spying on you, but yeah, that's who cares? You're getting over that. A hidden truth might be coming out. Yeah, I feel like a lot of your exes are honestly, yeah, they're choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. A lot of you're gonna be amazed like how quickly you manifest love. Like a lot of your exes, the ones that like betrayed you and hurt you, are gonna be in this energy now that they put you in. And you're gonna have the last laugh, honestly. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but kind of. It's like a lot of these people like broke your heart in the past and like they're gonna come back. They're going to, they're going to be messaging you and you're not even going to feel the same way. You're going to be like, no, thanks. <laughs> like you're, you're, the world is about to be your oyster this year. So this is, this is an amazing reading. Um, anyway, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar really adds up quickly. My PayPal and my cash app is also below and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.